crossing the river the problem is there is a river of width yes 200 meter a river of width d as an example 200 meters you are at station x on one side you want to reach to the other side y go through the various parameters what is given boat speed is what what is the value of the boat speed boat speed is given boat speed vb yes boat speed is vb how much 4 meter per second so you have a boat here when you say vb is 4 meter per second that means <coughs> it's a speed in still water that means in a lake in lake you assume the water to be at rest and all the testing for a ship or a boat will take place when the water is at a rest so boat speed is given the river as seen by you is flowing from left to right river speed vr how much 3 meter per second so the question is number 1 how much time it will take for the boat to cross and how much time it will move from one point to the other one side to the other side one two where it will reach these are the two questions fine notes from the one full page rather two pages i will say on left page crossing the river in shortest time two pages left page crossing the river in shortest time and right page crossing the river in shortest path by shortest path <coughs> so draw the diagram what do you think this boat will reach exactly opposite do you think it will reach to y y the driver has in this case the pilot driver the term used can be anything has a tendency to move to exactly opposite he has a tendency and in case he keeps the boat always facing the other side it is not that the person will reach to the other side why because river flow will take the boat to the right drift to the right agreed that is why the boat is under effect of number 1 boat speed vb along with that river speed is there v3 sorry Three. There is a resultant of the two. Yes, as per R is equal to a square plus b square plus two ab cos theta. This value is four. This is three. Triangle. Yes. Even a tenth class student can answer. The resultant value, final value or resultant, comes out to be five. That is why it will make an angle theta. so it is a regular process 4 3 but it is not 4 meters it is not like the river will stop for some time because you have to cross the river so this process is regular the river is always in flow so the person tries only 4 mm 3 mm 4 mm 3 mm 4 mm 3 mm always and when you reach to this position say y dash the triangle this is a small triangle 
थ्री एंड रिजल्टेंट कम्स आउट वॉट मैग्नीट्यूड वाइज फाइव सो दिस इज स्मॉल ट्रैंगल ब्लॉस्टी ट्रैंगल यू टर्न दिस है एंड दिस बिग ट्रैंगल इज अ डिसप्लेसमेंट ट्रैंगल टाइम यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट टाइम मेथड वन टाइम टेकन इज इक्वल टू डिसप्लेसमेंट अलोंग वाई डिवाइड बाई वेलॉसिटी अलोंग वाई डिसप्लेसमेंट अलोंग वाई इज हाउ मच यस वट इज डिसप्लेसमेंट अलोंग वाई यस डिसप्लेसमेंट अलोंग वाई डिवाइड बाई वी वाई वट इज द वेलॉसिटी अलोंग दिस डायरेक्शन वाई फोर सो दिस इज वन मेथड टू हंड्रेड मीटर्स Divided by v by is how much? Four meter per second. So what you get is fifty seconds. That is method one. But at this stage, it is difficult to digest it. That why actually the boat is moving along this. Why you are taking into account this? So not an issue. Method two. Easy, re relatively easy to digest. See, this distance is how much? this distance is how much 200 meters what about this distance capital x anyone tangent theta can be written in two ways tangent theta is equal to 3 by 4 tangent theta is also equal to x by 200 tangent theta is equal to 3 by 4 is also equal to x by 200 what you get is x is equal to what 150 meters fine that means you were supposed to or you were having intention to reach to y but you have reached to a, a place which is what distance 150 meter in case you reach to the other side you want to reach to y you reach that y dash so this is your board journey you have number of question in competition this is walking along the river you will have to get back to y you will spend time again another issue not a matter of concern here x so x is 150 what about this distance this distance r is equal to what 200 square plus 150 square or you can directly take up sin theta cos theta whatever it is r 200 square plus 150 square and root what you get is 250 meters so in method 2 a 10th class student will have a better absorption of this as the boat moves along this with with what speed 5 meter per second what is the distance to be covered 250 so time is equal to what r distance covered divided by v resultant r is equal to what 250 what speed 5 meter per second so how much time 50 seconds <coughs> so this one single liner displacement along y divided by velocity along y this is the total distance covered divided by velocity along that direction third method in sometime this data is given we don't know along this line Yes. What is the displacement along x? Method three. What is displacement along x? Yes. Along this line, one fifty. What is velocity along x-axis? This is one fifty meter per sec. Sorry, one fifty meter, and uh, v-axis three meter per second. Velocity along this direction is three meter per second. So what do you get is? 50 second competition what data is given to me i don't know but in all the cases the answer is x divided by vx y divided by vy or total distance covered divided by velocity along that direction time with you is 3 minutes completed
there is supplementary question attached to the same that in case the person moves with the speed 6 meter per second, 6 meter per second, how much time it will take for the person to travel from y dash to y? 150 divided by 6 meter per second, 25 seconds overall journey, water journey 50 seconds and along the river journey is 25 seconds. Sometime you have these questions also. This is one <coughs> crossing the river in shortest time. Second part crossing the river shortest path. We need not refer to the notes. We need not refer to the notes. We will define it again. Again the same river one change is change of boat for convenience, for numerical convenience only we have changed the boat. The boat speed is now 5 meter per second. Now the boat driver is now trained and understands the problem of the person that the person reaches to the other side and then walks. Now the person will try to move the boat in such a way so that the boat reaches exactly opposite. How to go about it? In this case the person will move along some direction, we do not know. We do not know this angle theta, <coughs> but we know this value V b is equal to what? 5 meter per second and the boat moves with the 3 meter per second. So, this value is 5, this is 3 such that the resultant should be along this line. So, the effective or the resultant, this is the resultant comes out to be what? Yes, again in the given triangle this is 5, this is 3, this is perpendicular, this is question mark, V resultant, V resultant square plus 3 square is equal to 5, solve karke ki aega? 4 meter per second. Again, we want to find out time that is first part time taken is equal to displacement along y. In this case the boat will move like this, it will try to move along this river will take it to the right, this river to the right. So, that resultant is along this line. So, it will reach from x to y, y divided by resultant value, y is what 200 meters resultant along that is a 4 meter per second. This is for the sake of clarity only it is the same triangle because of space 200 V resultant is how much 4 meter per second is equal to 50 seconds. Question number 1 previous case also it was 50 seconds this case also 50 seconds. Why do you call this as shortest time previous case? Velocity of correct, it is a different example. You cannot compare this case with the previous one, it is a new story. It is a different boat, how can you compare the two? It is a chance that a numerical value comes out to be say. 1 time 2 can we find out theta if this is termed as angle theta then tangent theta is equal to what tangent theta is equal to 3 by 4 but generally you mark this direction as a downstream why in competition you get ds because downstream is the direction in which the river is flowing, upstream opposite to what the river is flowing. Generally you get 
in competition angle in form of a downstream angle with the downstream that means this angle it is equal to what 90 angle with downstream 90 plus theta angle with upstream 90 minus theta why you take why this was not good yes what is wrong with this theta why not with this direction what is the problem in defining this one see this is available in physical form this downstream edge upstream is also available do you have a line on the water itself this line do you have this line on the water it is not available it is nothing it is only for theoretical purpose that is why it is better to define it in terms of angle with the downstream or angle with the upstream time with you is 3 minutes